Adam, thanks very much for joining us. Edinburgh, um, very focused on on innovation, um, and there's a lot of focus at the moment on particularly um, science parks, biotechnology. Um, just update us a little bit on um, Edinburgh Bio Quarter, and also, I suppose, what's the city doing particularly to attract that kind of investment? The Bio Quarter is a huge opportunity. It's a big collaboration between council and government, but crucially, university, private sector and NHS, and it's a real melting pot of innovation, of technology. A huge amount is coming out of it already, and there's a huge amount of opportunity to expand that collaborative base and really drive Edinburgh forward as a major centre of, of excellence. Um, we've pulled together a major prospectus, which will be launched um, the first quarter of this year. That will give a huge opportunity for investors to come and be part of something that is driving forward literally the solutions to some of the biggest problems that communities and organisations, governments, health services around the world are facing. And in terms of, of data, I think there's a, the, there's a kind of drive for Adam to, to, to really be at the forefront of that, Adam. Hugely. Huge part of our city deal with the UK and Scottish government was on uh, making Edinburgh the data-driven innovation centre and the capital of Europe. And actually, when you look at the financial centre that Edinburgh has, the centre of innovation through universities, the enormously grown industries and these frontier industries of technology and science, I think we're incredibly well placed to, to cement ourselves in that position. Edinburgh has long given the world a huge amount of innovation and new thoughts and new ideas. There's a huge opportunity to bring jobs and opportunities for people right here in Edinburgh and crucially connect that and make it inclusive with the communities that are already here in the capital. And how important is infrastructure, um, Adam, in, in terms of being able to, I suppose, create the right environment, both for um, the sort of life sciences side, um, but also that then that has a positive knock-on effect for the for the city more widely. It's usually important not just to build the infrastructure better connecting the bike quarter into the wider city and our transport strategy already has within it another tram extension to the bike quarter to help facilitate that connection into the airport, city centre, universities, the port, Leith, huge population centres within our city. But it's about the infrastructure that's on uh, on site. Um, it's not just a science park in Edinburgh that we're putting out. It's a, it's a new community, a new community which binds surrounding communities, which provides a huge amount of opportunity and which will house people who will be uh, either new Edinburghers or people looking to move within the city. So huge amount of opportunity to create a real sense of place and put the infrastructure in that creates that sense of place and delivers real benefit for our communities in Edinburgh. And uh, I suppose how important is that element of collaboration, Adam, um, both, I suppose, within the city and with the, with the private sector, but also, I guess, um, Scotland-wide, but also UK-wide? I think it's, it's huge. I think the opportunities of linking the innovation centres of the universities, the capital and creativity of the private sector and the real world application of some of those solutions in the NHS facilities that are on that site gives a very well advanced and fairly unique offer to people really wanting to put their um, their investment into what will be an absolute centre of excellence driving forward the real the real frontier of those solutions. There's very few places in the world that have managed to pull together that level of mix so effectively as Biocorter. And the real exciting thing for us as a capital city is that there's still a huge amount of opportunity for those assets to grow, for more people to get involved, more investment to flow, and crucially, more jobs for our city supporting our population. But crucially, it's, it's not just about the jobs and investment that Edinburgh can garner, it's about the innovation solutions for the problems that the whole world are experiencing that Edinburgh can be at the forefront of. In terms of the, the commitment of the, um, of the city, um, how longer term are you looking at, particularly for, for this project? Well, there's a huge opportunity now for people to invest, but we've mapped out the bio quarter over the next 50 years. So we expect these industries, the investments that are driving not just public sector decisions, but private sector decisions to be continuing to grow and deliver 
uh, improvements and, and better jobs and opportunities for people in the city right through for, for decades to come. Really interesting to see how these new frontier industries are beginning to, to come into um, the cities and also the, the positive changes that that can make. Thanks very much for joining us, Adam. Thank you.